I present to you the Stork Be Gone. Da 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 da. If you have a stork problem, I'm sure you found that very rewarding. You've gone through all the different gimmicks, and thus, out of desperation, you searched and you found somebody else having the same problem. So let's let's go through it and let's see if I can uh, if this helps you out. No, no, no. We're, God, no. We're not talking about this problem. If if you got this problem, sorry, I can't help you. Please go, go, go elsewhere. No, no. You found me because you got this problem. And people are like, yeah, what's the big deal? Well, what's the big deal? You, you, you have a big freaking blue hair and crapping in your pool. Yeah, they look all innocent out there in nature, don't they? Isn't that sweet? But here's the reality, isn't it? These guys, oh, can they go? And they're very happy to leave their parting gifts and show you their dietary habits. I mean, it's... Not really hard to blame them. I mean, these guys are looking for safety at night, and they want to be able to check out their domain. And if you got a pool cage in the right spot of the pond, then you've become their best new friend. So the trick is we we got to find a way to unfriend them, how to make them a little bit more uncomfortable and just go elsewhere. So one of the traditional things that people mention is throw some rubber snakes up there. Birds hate snakes. Well, yeah, that's true for small birds. These herons just just laugh at them. No, we need, we need something else. I then went to getting the hose ready and getting a water gun and staking out at 2 o'clock in the morning and waiting for him to land and then yell like a banshee, try to water him down, and he lets cut loose a... Uh, a very disturbed, he's very upsetting uh, sound they make. But they come back the next day. Or they even come back five minutes later. Yeah, also try the owl thing. You know, let's get that thing perched up there. And uh, again, uh, the stork just laughs at these things because they're so puny compared to their size. There does come a moment, though, you just get so much poop and so much waste and so much cleanup that you're like, all right, I'm going to string fishing line all across the top, as I've seen some other restaurants do to keep birds away. But the reality is you're dealing with an endangered or uh, protected bird. And if the poor thing did ever get caught up in the fishing line and got hurt or was killed, then... You got some bigger problems on your hands, so let's let's not go with the fishing line idea. So eventually, out of just searching and searching and not really getting anywhere with standard bird be gone products, I came across this motion sensor for sprinkler systems, and I'm like, I think I can adapt this for what I need. So that's what led to. Uh, version one so this was the stork be gone version one kind of really just slapped this together well, kind of obvious used a bunch of zip ties and took one of the blink cameras from my home security and threw that on a piece of wood and then and you can see i, I really didn't make a whole lot of thought or effort into tying down the the sprinkler head um I just wanted it to be secure. It has a little bit of left to right motion, but not very good for trying to place it. I was overshooting the target yeah. Yeah. due to the lean of the ladder itself. Just, just not very, um, I couldn't adapt it to the different areas I needed for coverage. So here's version two. Um, this one, I decided to run PVC pipe up the ladder, secure that to the ladder, up to a little T connector, and that then allows me to have an independent arm for the camera, and an independent arm then that um, has the sprinkler attached to that. Um, th that then allows you to adjust the sprinkler head um, independent from the camera. So you can keep the camera in one position. You can then go ahead and position. Uh, not only can you go left and right with this, but you can also now go 
um, up and down so that you can uh, so you're not overshooting the, the target zone. So now that you have the ability to better adjust the height control, you can now more effectively uh, make sure it's getting activated. So now that you have the ability to, I do believe version three will include an improvement for the camera system. I so, so need, I so want to see that special moment when the store trips the motion sensor and gets soaked and blasted. I, I, I live for this, but I have not been able to capture that. However, I do know that it did activate, um, and I do know that he uh, he probably got <laughs> spooked at least. Um, the days following, I was able to take this picture, and he's keeping his distance. The, the pool cage does stay, uh, is, has been clean in the mornings. I no longer wake up to his wonderful presence, and he's definitely keeping his distance. So we'll call that... Or I'll, I'll take that win. But again, if I can figure out the next version to better record that magic moment, I, I'll then will consider that one a success. But for now, I'm happy. And hopefully this helps you out with your efforts to curb your problem.